A guy named George Hodge uh, came to our office at Counterpart and he had this crazy idea that you know, he wanted to help create an innovation lab, an idea lab, um, one that young people could use, could benefit from, could contribute to. And two years later, that idea is off the ground. And George Hodge of UNDP is going to share with us what he's done for that. George? Okay, so as Alex said, we had this idea a couple of years ago to create an innovations lab, an ideas lab, very much driven by youth. And what we did was we held an event last year to try and kick off this idea. And before I tell you about the event, I'm going to tell you a little bit about why we wanted to do this as UNDP. So in partnership with USAID, uh, Internews International, and the Eurasia Partnership Foundation, we implemented this event called Mardimage. And what we wanted to do was we wanted to engage way more people into development processes in Armenia. That was really important to us. Another thing we wanted to do was use technology in our development projects, in your development projects, fundamentally. I mean, what we like about the internet is that it's completely revolutionized the way we, the way we work, the way we connect, you know, the, the way we entertain ourselves. And the social internet in, in particular has allowed us to connect, to contribute, to collaborate at a scale we didn't know before. It allows you to build constituencies to solve the issues that you identify in the world today. So what we did, we, we opened up this conversation. We said, tell us about your problems. And there was a big you know, web page, big fanfare on the internet. But we wanted to get beyond that. So we implemented, we, we held a few itch workshops in the regions across Armenia. And we asked you to tell us about the problems that you see in your communities and in society and in the world at large. And we got you to all to write down these problems, these challenges on post-it notes. We covered the room in post-it notes. And then we grouped them thematically and picked out three or four that we really liked the sound of, three or four problem definitions that we thought, yeah, that, that really captures the issue. And we then challenged these workshop participants to come up with solutions to these problems. Following a, a, you know, a lively discussion with all the participants, we then encouraged each and every one of you to submit your ideas to the website for consideration by a panel of judges. Once we finished this outreach phase, we had 66 submissions from across Armenia. Many, many ideas, many, many problem definitions that you wanted to work on, challenges that you saw in your communities and in society that you wanted to solve. And so what we did was we picked six with the panel of judges. And, and working with those six ideas owners, we, we identified what you'd need over the course of a weekend to turn your idea into a project. And once we had that information, we invited specialists from whatever sector you're working in, whether that was health, education, whatever. And we also invited experts in IT to help you code, to help you build a platform to engage other people in your project. And we brought all these people into the event with you to help you make these projects a reality. And at the event, each and every one of you pitched your ideas to the wider audience to try and attract other participants to work with you. And at the end of the event, you all pitched your ideas to the judges who awarded one grant to the winner. But what was really interesting was that five of the projects at the end received grants from all the different donors participating at the event. So what was really important for us was that you had identified the problems, you had designed the projects, and you were going to implement them into the future. You took control of the process. You led the process. It was youth leadership. So now I open up the conversation to you. As Salpi said earlier, now what? What's next for you guys? Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Actually, I see two familiar faces in the room today. 
uh, I see Hermie, and also David is someone with a camera. So do you want to share a little bit about the event itself? Would you be okay with that? Um, yes, Ne, <laughs> Հնարավորությունտվեցին <laughs> Եվ տարիների ընթացքում ավելի կզարգանա ու ավելի շատ սոցիալական խնդիրներ կընդգրկվեն ու կստանան իրենց լուծումը հենց այս պրոյեկտի միջոցով։ Մի անում եմ Հերմինայի խոսքերին, իսկ ապես մարդամեջում ես համար կարևոր քայլեր դեպի սոցիալական կարողություն, սոցիալական մեդիայի կարողությունների զարգացման Ruvra, Yev had capacity caravor may be just kind bolor and expert neri, Yev webs ragravor neri, bolor and Hasarak Martkans Korze, for a Avelizar Gatses Mercaro Hutuneri, a Vastahem for a Ritz Mior, in China of Hima, and Smart Hamachitavat, Vorshaki Gitelic Nerish Norhiv, Yes Karavatsa Voros Chapov, Zargatsnet in Karo Hutuner, Alt Ragrerum, Albanaga Varnerum, the Severo Luhammer, Tekus Kalias and Hanapes Capchunem, Socialaka Media Head, Hanivor Apaga Brishkem. I'm first for I spahin uh shot met uh Spasumo, Banks Bolores Miasin, Spasming, I starva Martha Machin, Yev Bolores Miasin, Arten Humbero, Arten Mer and Kernero, Vansa Starva, Miasin, Mashakum and Carten Mer, I starry Haka corruption to the Agrede, or Psi Karogan Carten, Lutumertal, Einhantinerin, Vorong Chenkastre Lutumertal, Nahort Hantin, Nahort Arva and Tatsko. I'm, I'm really glad to hear that. Uh, oh, I've got one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, as David mentioned, we're having another event this year. And so if you go on our website, Mod Damage, if we type that into Google, you'll find it again. And so if you've got some ideas or some challenges that you want to solve, get involved. Mm -hmm.